Dissolved oxygen is an extremely important measurement in monitoring stream health. Dissolved oxygen measures the amount of oxygen dissolved in the water. It is the product of aeration, atmospheric diffusion, and photosynthesis. A high or moderate dissolved oxygen represents livable standards for aquatic organisms. To start our measurement, we will take the two identical glass bottles out of our kit. As we did with our conductivity reading, we will rinse them twice with the sample water and dispose of the rinses in the waste container. After we have rinsed, we will take both bottles and fill them with the sample water. We need to fill them as high as we can, so we will cap them underwater and make sure to eliminate all the air bubbles. This is because pockets of air containing the oxygen will make our dissolved oxygen reading inaccurate. Next, we will add eight drops of manganese sulfate. This is the pink bottle in your kit. If the water begins to run out off the sides, that is okay and expected. After adding eight drops of manganese sulfate, we will add eight drops of the blue or clear bottle in our kit, potassium iodide. After adding both chemicals, we will cap both of our bottles and invert them 25 times. This allows the chemicals to mix properly with the sample water. After inverting, we will let our sample bottles settle. This process may take a while, so it is a good time to measure your pH, take the air temperature, or any other tasks you need to complete. You will know when the samples are done settling when the yellow mass settles below the shoulder of the bottle. Allow for it to completely settle before continuing. After it has settled, invert it 10 more times and allow it to settle once again. Allow it to completely settle before continuing. At this point, we will be handling mildly corrosive chemicals, so if you would like to put on gloves, they should be available to you in your kit. Once the solution has completely settled two times, we will add eight drops of sulfuric acid. Cap your sample bottles once again and invert for three minutes. The process will be done once you no longer see specks floating in the sample. The result should be a clear, dark yellow. Once the specks and the sediment has completely dissolved, your sample is fixed. You will now take your cylindrical titrator vial and rinse it two times with your fixed solution. Remember to have one file constant to each sample. Try not to cross-contaminate. After you have rinsed your vial two times, fill each vial up to the 20 milliliter mark and cap them. Next, we will take out our titrator syringe. Some kits have two titrators, but only one is needed. If you have a pink cap, you can use it to more accurately titrate. Take your titrator and insert it into the cap of the sodium thiosulfate in the large bottle. Flip the bottle and titrator upside down and pull the plunger until it is at the zero mark. Remove the titrator from sodium thiosulfate and insert it onto the cap of your vial. Insert your titrator and titrate, adding one drop at a time and swirling after each drop. At this point, your sample should turn from a dark yellow to a lighter straw color. Remove the cap of your vial. You will add eight drops of starch indicator solution to the sample. This should turn your light yellow sample into a dark purple. Replace the cap and insert the titrator into your vial. This is the last step and it should be performed as slowly and accurately as possible. If you have a pink titrator cap in your kit, place it on the titrator tip now. Pick up your vial and with one hand, add a drop of solution from your titrator. Swirl with your other hand. Continue to add solution one drop at a time, and as you do, swirl your sample. Notice that the color is becoming clearer. Once the color has completely cleared, hold your vial up to the sun. If you notice a lavender tint, add one more drop to clear it completely. Look at your titrator and record the number you have pushed the plunger to. In the San Marcos River, this is often around eight. This is your first value for dissolved oxygen. This process will be repeated for the second vial. Dispose of the leftover sodium thiosulfate into the waste container and, once again, fill it up to the zero mark. Insert your titrator and titrate, adding one drop at a time and swirling after each drop until the color appears to be a straw color. Observe the color change. Remove the cap from your vial and add eight drops of starch indicator. Replace your cap and titrator and begin the titration of your second value. Once the color has cleared, record the value for your second titration. If your first and second titration values differ by more than 0.5, you will need to start over as this indicates an error in the process. Average your two dissolved oxygen values for the final dissolved oxygen of the sample.